Hello and welcome to First Coast Living. I'm Jordan Wilkerson. We're online a lot, right? Doing stuff for school, work, shopping, paying our bills. And even when you're scrolling for fun, it's important to remember that scammers and hackers have gotten even more creative. Earlier, I caught up with the Chief Information Security Officer from Cisco. He ran down a list of cybersecurity resolutions that he suggests for everyone. So it isn't all bad news, right? We've gotten more savvy as individuals. Businesses have gotten better. The technology has gotten better. The challenge is... As we've advanced, so have the criminals. So attacks have become more savvy. The gone are the days of like the Nigerian prince emails, right? <laughs> criminals have gotten more savvy. The attacks have gotten more personal and they've moved to, uh, to different channels. Okay, so then what are some of the most persistent cyber threats for individuals specifically? We're still seeing account takeover right at the top. Adversaries getting into our email, into our social media, sometimes into our financial services. And right behind that continues to be malicious software. Criminals using unpatched vulnerabilities on our devices and on our toys to install malicious software to take control of them, to eavesdrop, and to do damage. Oh, I hate that. And you're right. They are getting so good, a lot better than they used to be. Can you tell us uh, more about Cisco's first ever list of cybersecurity resolutions? Cisco's encouraging everyone to not only make 2023 about being healthier, about being happier, but also about being more secure. So I'll give you three. First, I resolve to protect my accounts. Now that, uh, that is certainly the age old wisdom around passwords, make them long, make them complex, change them. We know that, but also use password managers so we can have multiple different accounts and move beyond passwords towards multi-factor, the code you get, the push you get on your phone. So that if a criminal does get in, we have the ability to say, nope, that's not me, <laughs> get out of my device. Secondly, I resolve to uh, protect my toys. Anything you unbox, anything you open, anything you connect to the internet, update it first. And once it's connected, your phones, your tablets, your computers, things you don't think about, like your appliances and internet routers, make sure you have a regular habit of checking those and applying any updates that are available. And third and finally, I resolve to protect my privacy. Now, this is more of a mindfulness habit, right? There's a lot of ways to think about the apps we use, think about the privacy settings that we uh, allow on our devices, think about the things we consent to. Uh, so being very mindful about those settings, those permissions, as well as removing anything we don't need. If we're done with it, delete it and delete the data. Wonderful for telling us. Thank you so much for telling us all of that because I mean, there's so many different things we can do, so many little different things that really add up and can help act as a shield. So, uh, where can we go for more information on all of this? Yes, certainly you can visit uh, Cisco.com and wherever you're tracking your news resolutions, I'd encourage you to add those three protect your accounts protect your toys and technology and protect your privacy. Yes, thank you so much for that. And if you'd like to see this segment again, just head to our website at firstcoastliving.net.